morning. Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality, and health and well-being into addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be. But you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system, a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. That's 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or health challenges that you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you have questions about formulations, ingredients, and of course, if you have questions about skin health issues, or if you have a comment or success story you'd like to share, we want to hear from you at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you want to check out our longevity products, the products we recommend on the Bright Side, the products you hear advertised on the Bright Side, including my personal favorite, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0. You can head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com and order products right off the website. You can also call 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. And if you're entrepreneurially minded... If you like the idea of having your own business, you like the idea of being an entrepreneur, and it's not for everybody. Not everybody wants to be uh, an entrepreneur. Not everybody wants to have the responsibility of having their own business. But if this sounds attractive to you, if you want to work for yourself, work from home, make as much or as little money as you want, not have to punch a clock, and help uh, improve lives, help change lives for the better, longevity is for you. You at least need to check it out. Call 866-735-2470. They can give you the scoop on how you can start yourself a business for a one-time $25 fee. I've been doing it myself for almost 19 years now. And I can highly recommend not just the longevity products, as I do every day on this program, but also the longevity business. Lots of folks are making a little money, medium amount of money, or even a lot of money. I know people who are making literally six figures a month helping spread the word, basically helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. Call 866-735-2470. They can give you the full scoop. Or you can sign up right off the website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. All right. So we're talking about connective tissue. I know we've been talking about it for a long time, but this stuff is so important and to We haven't even really scratched the surface on how incredible connective tissue is. The connective tissue along with the muscle tissue which it envelops, the connective tissue wraps around the muscle tissue. In fact, all of our muscles are wrapped around with connective tissue, a substance uh, via a substance called fascia. You may have heard of that term, F-A-S-C-I-A. We get the term fascist, the political term, actually from uh, the fact that uh, the fascia, the fascia in the muscle is all wrapped together as one, and fascism is a political system where everything is wrapped together as one, in a sense. In any case, the fascia, the connective tissue, cover up the, the uh, con- uh, cover, envelope the muscle tissue. And when we're breaking down, in many ways, we're breaking down at the levels of the connective tissue. And this is so important because anything you do to help build connective tissue in one place is going to help build connective tissue everywhere because it's a network. This is so important. You take the glucosamine, which is a classic connective tissue building substance for your joints. You will have less wrinkles. You will have stronger blood vessels. And I I don't want to digress here, but one of the main reasons why cholesterol builds up in the blood vessels is because the blood vessels are weak. 
So using connective tissue building substances for your arthritis can help prevent cholesterol buildup. This is all based on the fact that it's one big system. I got a letter earlier this week from a lady named Jenny. She's dealing with receding gums. Gums are a classic example of connective tissue. She writes, hi, I've been trying to research the true causes for gum recession without much luck. She should listen to the bright side. I have it pretty bad and have taken very good care of my gums and teeth my whole life. Well, it's not a tooth or gum issue. It's a connective tissue issue that's showing up in the gums. No one seems to know what really the cause is. Well, they should listen to the bright side along with you, Jenny. My belief is it is nutritionally based and maybe even an autoimmune problem. It's definitely nutritionally based and there may be some immunity or autoimmune issues that are involved. The dentist group just wants to have you do their form of gum surgery. That's what dentists do. That's what doctors do. And she writes, continuing, which I will never do. I could really use some help on this question. If you know anything, please call me back. Thank you so much. Jenny's confusion and the lack of answers from her brilliant doctors and dentists is a classic example of how we overthink and a classic example of missing the most obvious connections between health challenges and how the body is put together and how it falls apart. Gums are connective tissue, period. End of story. If you have scurvy, one of the classic signs is gum dissolution. Scurvy is a vitamin C deficiency, and you ain't making connective tissue without vitamin C. And if you're not supplementing with vitamin C, you're going to have a connective tissue problem because you're urinating out your vitamin C, your scant resources of vitamin C for most of us. And it's not found in very many, well, it's found in foods, but not incredibly large amounts of it are not found in foods. And if you're not eating fresh fruits and vegetables, you're probably going to be deficient in vitamin C, and that's going to show up on your gums. That's going to show up everywhere because you can't make connective tissue without vitamin C. Dennis will tell you that gum recession is a disease. It is not a disease, okay? It's simply a deterioration of the body. When we understand how the body works, you can tell it's not a disease. You can tell it's a breakdown of the connective tissue. And this is why gum disease is associated with other health challenges. According to the Johns Hopkins Medical School website, quote, there are multiple reports that have described an association between periodontal disease and rheumatoid arthritis, another connective tissue disease. That's me. That's not them. Continuing, it's been recognized that periodontal disease is associated with other systemic conditions, including diabetes, atherosclerosis, cardiovascular disease, low birth weight infants, and preterm labor, unquote. It's because it's a general breakdown of the body. It's associated with lots of things. Moreover, this is another quote from the uh, Johns Hopkins Medical School website. Intervention by treating, quote, intervention by treating periodontal disease can actually improve diabetes, can improve the weight of infants. <clears throat> there is an interventional study that has been ongoing looking at the effect of atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. This implies that there may be a relationship between oral health and systemic diseases, unquote. Of course there is. <laughs> Of course there is. You don't need a doctor to tell you that. You just need common sense. The whole body is composed of this stuff. So it's, if, it's, if you're breaking down at the gums, you're going to be breaking down everywhere else. Our lack of understanding of how our bodies are put together and how our body works, how all the parts work together, costs us health. It costs us money. It makes us more susceptible to horrible medical interventions barbaric medical interventions, including chemical poisoning with drugs, ablation, chemical ablation, they call it, medical butchery. I'm not kidding you. It is butchery in many cases. It costs us our organs, and not infrequently, medical surgery costs us our lives. According to a 2012 article in the medical journal, the highly regarded medical journal, The Lancet, the overall chance of dying within two months of surgery is 1 in 28, 3.6%. 3.6 people out of 100 are going to die within two months of their surgery. The body's not supposed to be cut apart, you guys. I, I know sometimes you need to have surgical procedure. I'm not Pollyannish about this thing. But medical surgery, medical intervention in general is barbaric. It's this basically a, a, a modern version of the hacking apart that used to occur two or three hundred years ago. You know how they used to do surgery two or three hundred years ago? Oh my God. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Back on the 
right side. Got lines open at 844-236-6010. If you're dealing with health challenges, connective tissue problems, arthritis, Alzheimer's disease. Yes, Alzheimer's disease is a connective tissue problem, a brain connective tissue problem. If you're dealing with a health challenge, you or a loved one is dealing with a health challenge that is seemingly intractable, we're here for you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you understand how the body works, this clears up so much of the confusion about how you address dis-ease, D-I-S dash E-A-S-E, a body out of ease. And that's what this program is about, and that's what the Bright Side philosophy is all about. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central, and 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, if you're interested in super high-end, super premium, super effective, medicinal type quality, therapeutic skin health issues. One of the things I discovered is uh, skin health products. One of the things I discovered when I was formulating compounding in the compounding pharmacy, I discovered that when you heal the skin, you anti-age the skin. Everything we want in an anti-aging skin care product is in the realm of healing. Healing equals anti-aging, anti-aging equals healing. It's the same process. And if you could figure out how to, how to access and, and leverage healing mechanisms that are built into the skin, you're going to have anti-aged your skin. You're going to improve the beauty and the appearance and the cosmetic appeal, the cosmetic value of the skin. You are going to make your skin look better when you heal it. When you, uh, when you exploit or take advantage of healing mechanisms that are in the skin, thus the importance of vitamin C and vitamin A, the two most important, in fact, the two only topical ingredients that will heal the skin nutritionally. You can probably help healing by killing bacteria with Neosporin or something like that, but not nutritionally. From a nutritional standpoint, from a health standpoint, only vitamin C and vitamin A will do it, and that's why I came up with the truth. I noticed it in the compounding pharmacy. Now you can take advantage of it at truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a specially long look at our retinol 5% gel. Truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so uh, if you're, if you're going to interact with the medical model, you're going to probably be dealing with drugs, you're gonna, or you're very likely going to be dealing with drugs. If you've been diagnosed as having some kind of connective tissue problem, you most certainly will be dealing uh, very likely will be dealing with some kind of drugs or surgery and and uh, you know surgery is surgery is risky according to the Lancet you got a 3.6 percent chance of uh, dying within two months of your surgery now certainly surgical procedures today are advanced and uh, and it's much safer than it was in the past but that doesn't mean that your surgery is risk-free there's lots of things that can go wrong and if you're already sick and you're under having surgery, if you already have heart disease and you're having heart surgery, or you already have diabetes and you're having some kind of surgical procedure, your risks are even higher. And most people who get surgery are already sick somehow. You don't want surgery. If you absolutely positively need to have something taken out or restitched, or, you know, I understand that, but it's not a good option if for a chronic long-term degenerative health problem. One of the key ideas of what I call the bright side philosophy is the idea that diseases are based in the cell. All disease is cell disease. This is the, the living nature of the body is the cell. The body's made up of cells and stuff, and the, stuff that's, the part that's alive is called the cell. So if you're sick, it's a cell sickness. All disease is cell disease. But even more fundamentally, all cell disease is about dirty blood. The blood is responsible for feeding the cell. The blood is responsible for breathing the cell, providing it with oxygen. The blood is responsible for cleaning the cell, detoxifying poisons, getting poisons away from the cell. The cell has its own detox machinery inside of it, but once those poisons are excreted out, the blood has to wash it away. The lymph, especially, which is part of the blood. The blood is responsible for the cell disease. All disease is cell disease. All cell disease is preceded by dirty blood. And how is it that the blood becomes dirty? The gut. This is how it all happens. <clears throat> all disease is cell disease. All cell disease is dirty blood. All dirty blood is leaky gut. Most dirty blood is leaky gut. If you're injecting something through your skin, that's possible that you can contaminate the blood that way. But for most of us, the vast majority of dirty blood occurs through the intestinal blood connection where the intestine meets the blood, where the outside world meets the inside world. It's only logical. This is where the enemy gets in. 
This is the only way the enemy can get in unless you're injecting it through the skin. That means the most fundamental cause of all degenerative health challenges is going to be blood-based and then digestive system-based. The blood is in a defensive posture. Dirty blood is blood that has, is in, it has been activated from an immune system perspective. Dirty blood is immune activated blood. It is inflamed blood. The blood is connective tissue and just like any other connective tissue gets inflamed, the blood can too. Your joints can get inflamed, your blood can get inflamed. The blood actually contains inflammatory cells, circulating inflammatory cells, and it also contains fiber making cells, something called PBFs, peripheral blood fibrocytes. PBFs are cells that circulate in the blood that make fibers and that's dirty blood. Dirty, sticky blood is blood that has been contaminated with foods from a leaky gut that is now uh, in a protective posture where fibers are being secreted, inflammatory factors are being secreted. And that, that's your disease right there, folks. This is why aspirin thins the blood, by the way. Aspirin is a classic anti-inflammatory. And by the way, connective tissue building substances like glucosamine and high, high aluronic acid are blood thinners. Likewise, uh, the polysaccharides, these, the complex sugars that are found in algaes and in products like Fucoid-Z. This is one of Fucoid-Z's most important benefits. It's a blood thinner, as is hyaluronic acid, as is our glucogel caps. Doctors will actually warn you against using these substances when you're on Coumadin and Pradaxa because you'll get too, supposedly, it doesn't happen, but they're worried you're going to get too much blood thinning. So they'll tell you not to use glucosamine. Well, how about this, doc? How about if we lower the dose on my drug and I use the glucosamine instead? How about if we eliminate my drug and I use hyaluronic acid and glucosamine and fucoid instead? That seems like a much more logical strategy to me. Just lower your drug dose and use glucosamine. The drug heparin, by the way, which is a classic blood thinner that you get after you've had surgery. After you've had surgery, that's a major, major time for activation of the immune and uh, defensive system of the blood. The blood doesn't know, the, the connective tissue, the body doesn't know, and uh, the, all the body will inflame, by the way, after you've had a surgical procedure, especially around where you had the, the cut. So they'll give you heparin. Heparin is a standard blood thinner. It's used post-surgery, and it's partially composed of glucosamine. And it's in the same family as hyaluronic acid. All these things are blood thinners because they heal connective tissue. They support the strength of connective tissue. Thinning the blood, and I'm not talking about drug thinning. I'm talking about nutritionally thinning. I don't even like the word thinning. Improving the circulation, the flow of the blood. A drug will thin. These nutritional supplements improve circulation because they're natural, they're nature's very own anti-inflammatories. Heparin, uh, let's say uh, Pradaxa and Coumadin, heparin's kind of a natural substance as it turns out, but, but uh, Pradaxa, Coumadin, Plavix, these things thin the blood and they thin it by shutting down the inflammatory cascade inside the blood, by poisoning it. Heparin, as it turns out, is an anti-inflammatory. It's a blood thinner and an anti-inflammatory. All right, got so much to say here about connective tissue and about the blood, and I still want to get to the skin. We'll do that later on this week or next week. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. 844 236 is our number. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, the longevity products, something you may have heard about, read about, formulations, ingredients, and of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share, we love hearing success stories and we get lots of them on the bright side. If you want to purchase our Truth Skin Health products, head over to truthtreatments.com and if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on our program, Head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. 844-236-6010. We do have lines open for you. Hang on if you're on hold. I'll get to you in just a moment. A couple interesting articles. On our next uh, Brightside episode, we'll continue talking about the importance of blood and how you can use these uh, connective tissue building substances as blood thinners and why you want to use them as blood thinners, particularly if you're dealing with Alzheimer's disease. 
Alzheimer's disease is a connective tissue problem. As you know, if you've been listening to this program, I don't know if I've ever heard anybody else calling it a connective tissue problem. Reading from the uh, national, this is uh, findings reported by researchers at the Na National Human Genome Research Institute in the National Eye Institute. Uh, researchers unveil new wound healing role for a protein folding gene. That means, it turns out, according to this study, there is a substance that's released when you wound yourself that is involved in protein folding. And we know that Alzheimer's disease is also a protein folding issue. Could it be that Alzheimer's disease, the plaques that they want to vaccinate you against, the stupidity of this logic, they want to vaccinate you against the plaques. Could it be that these plaques are the manifestation of long-term chronic wounding in the brain? I think that's a pretty good chance. Yes, Alzheimer's disease is the result of how the body protects itself from long-term chronic wounding of the brain. That's why they call it type 3 diabetes, because one of the main wounding agents in the body is sugar. Yes, sugar is a wounding agent. This is one of the problems with diabetes. One of. There are many. It's one of. And by the way, this is why if you have diabetes, you probably want to start using some of these polysaccharides to improve the prognosis of connective tissue wounding subsequent to sugar. Here's another good one for you. This is from the Public Library of Science. Pathogens. Resveratrol reduces heart damage in mice. Resveratrol is an antioxidant. It's famous for being in red wine and in grapes. It's a super expensive uh, nutritional supplement. You'll find it in several of the Longevity products, which escape me at this point. Uh, we got one. one uh, you know what? I'll have to get the name of, the, name of the, the big resveratrol product. I forgot what it's called. But in any case, resveratrol from wine and grapes can reduce heart, uh, reverse heart damage. Reverse heart damage. You know, the key word here might be reverse, not the heart damage or the resveratrol, because what it's saying is heart damage is reversible. Yes, heart damage, as in heart disease, reversible, not cured, reversible. Here's another one. Hypertensive emergencies associated with elevated markers of inflammation, coagulation, platelet activation, and fiber formation, high blood pressure. This is hypertensive emergencies, but all high blood pressure issues need to be backtracked to inflammatory problems, coagulation problems, blood clotting problems. This is such good news because what it means is, is when we apply strategies for dealing with one issue, we'll get multiple benefits. I love that idea about health and nutrition and the body as a system. When we address one problem, the body heals systemically. The whole system heals. The medical model is about isolating things. It's about just working on one system. This is, this, nothing highlights the stupidity of what I call the modern medical model more than this idea. Check this out. The body's a system, yet the medical model wants to target individual components of this system. Well, the definition of a system, you guys, is, some, is a whole where, where you can't remove any of the parts. So if you take the gallbladder out, you no longer have a system. Or at least you no longer have the same system. If you take anything out, you no longer have the same system. If you poison a, a component of the system with a drug, you no longer have the same system. In other words, you have now created a different system. You've now taken over for nature or God or the holy force or whatever you want to call it. And now you're playing God and you've created a new system. And when we have side effects, they're not really side effects. They're just effects of the new system that we've created. Do you hear how important that is? When you take a drug or you do a surgical procedure, you have created a new system. You no longer have the same system. It is a different system. And this is, a, this is what accounts for the tragedy and the utter, utter failure and, and impotent nature of the mo what I call the modern medical model. From the journal Hypertension, high blood pressure can impair cognitive function. Risk poses a risk for Alzheimer's. Well, now you know why. Because under hypertensive conditions, the blood is clotted. Under conditions of blood clotting, you get less oxygen to the brain. High blood pressure in the long term will suppress oxygenation to the brain. 
That's why high blood pressure, uh, uh, there's several reasons, but that's one of the reasons why high blood pressure is linked to impaired cognitive function. If you have Alzheimer's disease, if you know anybody who has Alzheimer's disease, think of opening blood vessels. Think of improving circulation to the brain. One of the all-time great strategies for Alzheimer's disease patients or anybody who doesn't want to get Alzheimer's disease or anybody who thinks they're getting Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's disease is to do hyperbaric oxygen chambers where you go sit in a oxygen tank and you deep breathe or you or you get oxygen pressurized into your respiratory system you can also do slow deep breathing on the couch we should be doing slow deep breathing on the couch no matter what niacin incredible vasodilator vitamin e improves circulation glucosamine high hyaluronic acid improves oxygen delivery to the brain all right eight four four two three six sixty ten got raquel and joel who've been holding on forever what's up good morning raquel and joel welcome to the bright side hi I guess we lost Joel. I'm sorry, but uh, okay. he ha- suffers from a burning and tingling sensation from in his hands and his feet. How old and is the Joel? Doctors, uh, he's like 40-something. Tell, continue. I, I, I'm sorry I interrupted. The doctors? Uh, the doctors, they don't know what it is. They they, they just go You're joking. You're kidding me. Yeah, they, That's they crazy. Have been taking him. Are you there? Yes, I'm here, and we're going we're gonna to take care of Joel, okay? A couple things. Okay. First of all, Joel's not a healthy fella. I'm, I, I don't know Joel. I'm just telling you, if he got tingling in hands and feet, that's not the problem. The problem is overall poor health. Are you with me so far? Yes. Is Joel on any medicine? He's taking all kinds of vitamins only because, you no, know. No, no, prescription drugs. Talking. Prescription drugs. Or do you know? Uh, no, no, Is this he's a not. friend of yours or a customer, a client? Or how's, how is he related to you? Yeah, he's, I'm a longevity rep, and I'm trying to get awesome. him on minerals. And he's going to, but he, I wanted to get exactly what else does he need besides the 90 okay. for life. Okay, so uh, neuropathy, which is basically what you're talking about, is uh, uh, tingling in the hands and feet, fingers and toes, etc. It occurs over the course of long-term bodily breakdown. Nobody just wakes up in the morning with this problem. From a healthy state, they go to a neur- neuropathic state. A couple of things. Yeah, he's been happening in like two years. Yeah, this is this is a a, gen- a state of general deterioration of the body. Okay, usually follows sugar, uh, uh, sugar uh, dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar. And it's very linked to diabetes. Now, just because he doesn't know he's a diabetic or the doctors didn't officially proclaim him a diabetic doesn't mean he doesn't have dysglycemia. Dysglycemia means messed up blood sugar. And messed up blood sugar can precede an official diagnosis of diabetes for years. Hang on, uh, Raquel. we got to take a break. We'll finish up when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open. 844-236-6010. We'll be back right after this. We're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben, and we have lines open at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about prescription drugs or health care cha- health challenges that you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you're doing the longevity business like Raquel is and you've got a problem patient, we can help you, 844-236-6010. Hello, Raquel. Are you there? Yes, it's, jo- it's Joel and Raquel. I have oh, hey, Joel. How you doing, man? Are you? Thank you. Hello, Joel. So uh, let me ask you a couple questions, Joel. Are you on any prescription drugs right now? I am not. Okay. Do you have you been diagnosed with prediabetes or diabetes? I have gone to doctors and they've given me blood work and they keep telling me I am not diabetic, but I am borderline diabetic. No, you are diabetic. That's just a sig. I, I, let me scratch that. Erase what I just said. You are dysglycemic. The distinction is, is diabetes is a noun, and it's a proclamation. It's an official designation. It's like you've been knighted by the medical model. You are now a diabetic, and they put the sword in your head. You know what I'm saying? And you've been officially designated. But that doesn't matter. You don't have to be officially designated by some guru doctor that you're diabetic. If you have messed up blood sugar, you're just as good as a diabetic because it's about messed up blood sugar. You see what I'm saying? The dysglycemia right. is, a, is just a chemical process. Okay. Neuropathy, which you're describing, tingling in the hands and feet uh, or pain sometimes in the hands and feet, is a classic sign of dysglycemia. And it should be regarded as a, a significant indicator that your, your, your blood sugar system's whacked out. That's first of all, okay? That means you gotta start treating yourself like a diabetic whether or not you've been diagnosed as such, which means paying attention to your sugar intake, including bread, pasta, potatoes, rice, desserts, fruit juices, there's sugar everywhere. 
So you just have Got to it. pay attention. I'm not telling you zero tolerance, but you get to decide how, where you want to be. And then at the same time, use nutrients that help your body process sugar, particularly electrolytes, B vitamins, and vitamin C. And all of these okay. are water soluble, so you're going to urinate them out if you're not taking them regularly, guaranteed you're deficient. So have uh, Raquel tell you about the Beyond Tangy Tangerine if you're not already on it. And then also the Sweeties, which is two particularly, particularly important minerals for dealing with blood sugar issues. You should be doing two or three after every meal. Uh, drink yeah. more water after every meal to dilute your blood sugar. And then also you might want to throw in some selenium, which is also important for uh, helping make insulin. Uh, okay. You may also want to, or you probably should be on the whole healthy start pack, and you might want to throw in the Fucoid Z. Fucoid Z is a, uh, it's got some anti-diabetic properties and some uh, uh, anti-inflammatory properties, as we've been talking what about. What is that, the QZ? Fucoid, F as in Frank, U as in uncle, C-O-I-D, Fucoid, and then the letter Z. Now, the second oh, thing about goodness. neuropathy, which sometimes goes under the radar, is sometimes the problem isn't the neuropathy, but the muscles that are connected to the nerves. Uh -huh. See, when the muscles are, when we're sedentary, when we don't move, and, and very if, and frequently, even if we're moving, we don't move our toes and our fingers a lot, or our hands and feet a lot, uh, eventually the muscles start to become lazy. They don't necessarily contract, or, or, but they just don't, they, they don't want to expend excess energy, so they kind of shrink a little bit. They just become lazy. They don't want to contract. They don't want to do their work. And then when you start to do work with your muscles, a signal is sent through the nerves that says, hey, we didn't plan on this. This is a surprise. You know, we're not ready for this. So what you might want to do is you might want to uh, do some exercises with your hands and feet. Like focus on extend, extending your toes and, 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 and bending your feet. Just work with your hands and feet to tell your muscles in there, hey, I'm supposed to be moving. And this may have a quieting effect on the nerves. So the chemical issue is addressed through blood sugar, largely, and also blood sugar stabilizing nutrients. But the, there may be a mechanical issue that uh, you can use exercise and uh, stretching Exer stretching procedures particularly, not doesn't have to be exercise necessarily, but just stretching to help relieve some of the, uh, the, the nerve signals that are being accessed by or being triggered by the muscular movement. Does that make sense, Joel? Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. Yeah, I'm also are, very uh, active on exercises. I exercise 20 minutes a day. Very good, but are you stretching? Yes, yes. Are you stretching beforehand? Yeah, I well hands. I didn't know. I was. I've been stretching my whole body itself. I no, no. I'm well. Hands and feet for sure stretch. But are you stretching before you do your exercise? That's what I was asking you. Oh yes, I do. Okay, that's awesome. And then, what are you doing for exercise, by the way? Uh, I do a little bit of cardio, and I do some uh, like do some stretching, and I also do a little bit of calisthenics. That's awesome, man. Well, then, then if you if you're pretty sure, experiment anyway. Just doing some stretching your hands and feet, fingers and toes. Uh, just just do some stretching, see if that relieves it. If you're pretty sure you're stretching, then I would be focusing on the, the messed up blood sugar component. And if they've already okay. told you that you're heading that way, that's, there's a good chance that that, that that is involved. Any other health, anything else going on? Is there anything else that we can put? You know, I don't know if you've heard this program before, but one of the ideas, one of the hallmark or, or basic ideas of how we work here is you got to have a bunch of dots so that you can form a picture. Neuropathy, which you're describing is one dot. Dysglycemia or mess prediabetes is another. Do you have anything else going on? Blood pressure no, issues? That's, that's, that's it? That's pretty much it. Yeah, that's what I was trying to figure out. And uh, by you giving me some of those uh, ideas, it's, it's good for me to start working on. That's what I'd be doing. And keep up the good work, man. Appreciate it. Anything else, Raquel? Hey, Raquel. Yes. Hey, Raquel? Who is, who's, yes, who I'm you here. Who, who's in your upline? Is it? Are you in Jan's? Uh, upline? My upline is uh, Raymond Brown. Oh, Raymond and Yolanda, good. Well, the Fucoid Z, you know, they, they were the ones who really brought the Fucoid Z to my yeah, attention. Yeah, uh, he needs the Z radical, right? Well, see, the Z radical is not the is a, a liquid version of the Fucoid Z. The reason I always talk about the Fucoid Z and not the Z radical is because you get more Fucoid in, in the Fucoid Z. Okay. It, it's more more bang for your buck. The the Z radical is tasty. It's uh, it's good for kids. It's kind of like a nice okay. little treat sort of thing, and you could put it in your smoothie or your drink. But but it's not doesn't have the same fucoid and bang for your buck, if you know what I'm saying. And so the it's fucoid called, is the, uh, fucoid Z. The fucoid Z capsules, nine three three times a day, nine a day. Three oh. three times a day. Yeah. 
All okay, right? I'll take care of him. I'll There's lots it. more you could do. So have, have, if uh, Joel's listening there, have him throw, throw in 50 milligrams a day of zinc as well. That might be helpful, too. Uh, zinc picolinate. Okay. Okay, good, good to you. talk to you, Raquel. Take care. Okay, okay. bye-bye. Ciao. All right, uh, all right, Tracy just just called up. Let's see what Tracy has to say. Good morning, Tracy. Tracy, Hi. Tracy. Hey, what's up? WikiLeaks came out with a dump, and True News got a hold of it somehow. They didn't say they had the actual documents, but they said that they had it. And it had Bohemian Grove and Bilderberger and um, um, a list of Freemasons. I think you got the wrong show, but that's interesting. I don't know about WikiLeaks now that you mention it. You know, I'm not sure. I, WikiLeaks and, and how do you know that's not all disinformation? Oh, how yeah, do you know, Tracy? Yeah. You yeah, know what? Right. Do you, you know, the disinformation is so in deep, so deep. I know we're, digre- we're we're talking about stuff we don't usually talk about on this program, but the, di- the 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 way it works is you have disinformation and then disinformation about the disinformation. There's so many levels of disinformation. You know what I'm saying, Tracy? Right. Oh, yeah. So you don't know what to believe. I don't know. I don't believe nothing. I believe what I see with my eyes and what makes sense to me from a scientific standpoint. WikiLeaks and email leaks, I don't know. How do you know any of that's real? You know? Oh, my God. It, it, you know what I'm saying, Tracy? Praise God. That's real. That's right. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That's real. That's and and it, real. So anything you hear, stories and all that stuff, I don't know. And this is a health program, Tracy. This is called The Bright Side, and I don't know if you meant to call us. You, oh, you, you probably meant to call my friend Alex, right? Okay, I didn't know that. I just Not to a problem. I, I wear many hats, even though I don't talk about that stuff. You know, I read the papers I, too, and and that's just my that take through. on WikiLeaks. What's that? I wanted to get that. I wanted to get that through to Alex. So. Well, Alex, you'll have to call back. Alex will be on here in about two minutes. Okay. Okay. God bless well, you. I God bless you, Mike. Have a beautiful day. All right, that was kind of interesting. Um, I, you know, I, I have a political side. I definitely do. I, I like, you know, I follow this stuff too, uh, but we don't really talk about it on this program. One day I'll probably have a. I may have a program where we talk about all that kind of stuff. Anyway, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for listening, friends. I really, really, really want to encourage you to check out our True Skin Health products. Everybody needs healthy skin. The skin is an organ of the body. It's the body's largest organ. And I created Truth Skin Health products to be health tools for the skin. The fact that they will beautify your skin and then make your skin look, uh, look more attractive is a byproduct of the fact that they change the health of the skin. And your skin needs health, too. It's an organ of the body, like any other organ of the body. It depends on nutrients. It depends on topical nutrients. Uh, in the case of topical nutrients, it depends on vitamin A and vitamin C. If you're deficient in vitamin A and vitamin C, or you're burning through your vitamin A and vitamin C, if you're sick, your skin isn't going to get it. And applying it topically is a great strategy to assure that the skin has enough vitamin A and vitamin C, both of which are important for not just the surface of the skin, but also the connective tissue where the wrinkles are. That's truthtreatments.com. Check out our Truth Retinol Gel, 5%, Truth Balm, Truth Serum, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. And, of course, if you want to join the Bright Side Ben team, love to have you aboard. Call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470, and they can give you more information, or you can head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com and sign up right off the website. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Have yourselves an awesome, wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.